Now he actually supplied this bend or this piece, which I'm going to cut it up and uh, make it usable. And I'll actually I'll put a better finish on it so it doesn't look like you know an old beat up piece of orange aluminum. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to get an early start and get this charge pipe knocked out. And like I said on the other video, I've already cut this down to fit how I want it to fit. Uh, but before I weld it, I want to put a better finish on the pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and 3M these with a scotch brite to uh, give it, get rid of this, this mill finish on it and just give it a low satin finish just to make it look better. Then I'll bead roll them, um, get it tacked up. I've already marked this one where I want to put the blow off valve at. So after I put the finish on it, I'll um, drill that out for the blow off valve. Uh, I'll show you how I cope down the blow off valve flanges to fit this pipe. And then I'll get it all welded up. I just went over the smaller piece real quick. That's basically how I want it. Just a dull shine, not anything real shiny. It's just to get rid of that finish off of it. So I'll go ahead and get the bigger piece done real quick. And I'm just using the red 3M scotch pipe pads to just rub over them and get the look you want before I um, get them prepped and tacked up. As you can see, I skipped over my alignment mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and tack this up, then go over it a few more times, just to make sure the finish is uniform between the two pieces. Then I'll, um, I'll cut the hole out, or I may just weld the whole thing up, then cut the hole out and bead roll it, and then I'll go fit it back on the car uh, and make sure I have the blow valve exactly where I want it. And I'll come back and then coke the blow valve flange.
now that I've got that all welded up, I'm going to get ready to put the blow off valve flange on it. Which the key to a good blow off valve flange weld is to make sure the flange actually fits and seats on the pipe. Uh, I'm putting a tile Q 50 millimeter on it, which their flanges come out the box uh, basically coped and shaped to work with a two and a quarter inch pipe. So what I do is I cut these down so that it saddles the pipe and sits down correctly. So I go out there and work on that and I'll bring it back in and show you what a good fit should be like before I drill the hole. All right, I've got that drilled out and I'll go ahead and get the blow off valve fit up on here. This is by far the thinnest aluminum charge pipe I think I've ever welded. Um, so you have to get into, you know, controlling your heat and penetration. But yeah, it's super thin. I thought I'd go grab a piece and show you just a comparison. That's usually what I weld in like two and a half inch. This is probably half the thickness, which this is just an old scrap four inch pie cut that I usually get. And you can just see the difference in them. The big part of that being is, you know, if I use my other four inch and I would have dropped it on the ground or something, it's not as easily prone to dent. Yeah. All right, that's it for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up before this heat gets more um, disrespectful than it already is. It's only nine o'clock in the morning um, and it's blazing hot. So I've got the charge pipe wrapped up with the Tile Q 50 millimeter blow off valve. I've went ahead and installed both of the MVS wastegates. 
So next I'll do the plumbing on the gates for the vacuum lines because I will be putting a four port uh, boost controller on here. And also I'll get the downpipe started, get it cut up. I'll probably have to do a bunch of pie cuts. So it'll be a lot more fab for stainless on that. But um, yeah, I appreciate you checking it out. If you like the video, like it, share. If you got any questions, let me know and I'll try to address everything. I appreciate it.